So this happened a week ago, but as people keep tweeting me at Simon316, I thought, screw it. We'll make a video for it. And then there's like, you know, a foundation, a place, a concrete holding location. I can some people send people if they keep talking to me about it. My name is Simon Miller, by the way. Thank you very much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. Basically, the story goes like this. Around about, I think it was a week ago. A week ago, uh, the Brian and Vinny show, which is uh, an audio program. Uh, actually, you can watch it live as well, of Wrestling Observer. The, yeah, the Wrestling Observer do. Obviously, Brian Alvarez. Uh, before actually we get going, because somebody will tweet this to him. I know how the internet works. Let's get some stuff cleared up. One, massive fan of Brian Alvarez. There's a fan of me interviewing him over on What Culture, where you can see me just fanboying out. Of everybody I've met, that's probably one, one interview you look at and go, Miller, you flipping nerd. I really like him. I think I don't necessarily always agree with everything he said, but I still find him entertaining. And that's why I like it. I don't want to agree with everything anybody says. That would be boring. I appreciate his uh, uh, his candor when it comes to pro wrestling. I appreciate his insight and I appreciate the way that he discusses it. So I want to get that out there right now. Big fan of Brian Alvarez. Always will be. However, it wasn't even something that I should have been involved in, but I love that I was because it goes to show that we've made an impact. So yeah, on last week's Brian of Any show, he was saying, it was with producer Rob, I believe, and he was saying that he thinks the Repo Man is worst character in history. If you ever f***ing tell me that anybody is worse than the Repo Man, <laughs> again, you will be unemployed. When is the last time you watched this show? I think you mentioned, was it the Mountie? And he mentioned Skinner, asked some other people. But he said the Repo Man, without a shadow of a doubt, don't argue with him, is the worst character in wrestling history. And the best thing about this was, as soon as people heard this, especially in the video that they posted, everyone was all like, it made Reddit too. Everyone was like, don't let Miller hear this. Simon will go crazy, yada, yada, yada. And it genuinely cracked me up. Like, obviously, I went and listened to the clip. Uh, again, I, I, was in, I was genuinely laughing hearing him talk about it because it, he's not wrong, is he? But the, 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 the difference is we did a video here on the channel called Why I Love Repo Man that you can check out now. It's there. I'll try and remember to link it, but I always forget. But all the reasons he hates Repo Man are the reasons that I love Repo Man. And again, we've discussed it. It doesn't make any sense. You couldn't have that character in anything else but professional wrestling. I mean, that was in like the mid 90s, what, like 25 years on. I still can't quite work out how it came to be, how it was pitched, how someone signed off on it, how you went to the person that made the, 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 the costume. They went, yeah, I'll make that. None of it makes any sense. None of it. And he was just a thief. He was a burglar at the end of it. He was just stealing stuff from the macho man. The point being that, yeah, it basically, and then I did a little tweet, a little ha ha, lol, lol tweet to Brian Alvarez saying, look, I'll, I'll wrestle you for in the honor of Repo Man, or for the honor of Repo Man, because obviously Brian Alvarez is a wrestler. I'm a wrestler too. I thought the internet would get a kick out of it. It, you know, went far bigger than that, that I thought it would do. But I'm still getting people tweeting me with a couple of things. That's what we're clearing up here. One, are you pissed off that Brian Alvarez said that? Of course I'm not. Like, I don't know the Repo Man. <laughs> He's nothing to do with me. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of Brian Alvarez. But the other one was two, do you actually want to have a match uh, with Brian Alvarez? Now look, in the crazy world of what wrestling is, if we tear down the magic and the curtain and we step behind the scenes, if that opportunity came up, of course I'd never say no. Like, as nerdy and as geeky as this sounds, you know, people always ask, oh, if you could wrestle anybody in WWE, who would you wrestle? And there's loads of people, obviously. I'm not saying that there's not. But if I was able to wrestle somebody like Brian Alvarez, a guy I've been listening to for years, it would be one of those moments where you'd be like, well, there you go. And now, given the context of everything, if I could do that, dress as a repo man, <laughs> I'd probably just retire. I'd probably just lay down forever. I mean, it's very unlikely it's going to happen. But like I say, this is just a very quick video, a very quick vlog. We haven't done one in a while to wrap some stuff up, to address the situation. Sometimes people copy Brian Alvarez in it as well. I'm sure he couldn't give two hoots about me, which is cool. He doesn't have to. But I, it just made me laugh. And because I got another one this morning, even though it was seven days removed, you know, you know what? I'm going to sit down at my table. I'm going to turn my camera on. I'm going to turn my microphone on. I'm just going to explain the whole deal. Do I love Repo Man? Yes. Am I a big fan of Brian Alvarez? Yes. Would I ever want to have a wrestling match because we decided it would be good for, you know, wrestling's a two-way street. He must think he must get something out of it as well. What he would get out of that, I don't know. But if somehow we got to those crosses, would I do it? Yes. But it would all be done from a positive, happy, joyous, uh, I can't even think of any other words, bright point of view. I do love it. It's like I remember I used to do video games back in the day. Quick tangent for you. But people like stories or so they tell me. I love Gears of War. I've got some cool Gears of War news soon. I'll, I'll spill that when I can. Love Gears of War. And when I didn't like a game, say... Dark Souls, right? Never a big Dark Souls fan. When I would criticize something about Dark Souls, I get people tweet me going, well, Miller, 
I hate Gears of War. I was like, all right, Gears of War isn't my child. <laughs> I didn't birth Gears of War. You are allowed to hate Gears of War, and it doesn't affect me or my lifestyle or my own love for Gears of War at all. I mean, you're wrong. <laughs> but I used to find that incredible. They thought it'd really get under my skin, and it was the same with this. I don't care if anybody hates the Repo Man. It's a stupid character I like. That I dress up sometimes on videos because I got a mind of a child. And that's that. Shout out to Gears of War. Shout out to Rod Ferguson. Still smashing it. Gears of War 5 comes out soon. That ties into the thing I can talk about. Intrigued to see how Gears is going to go. We will get back into the video game content when the video game scene sort of picks up again. It's been a bit dull this summer, but Gears, Call of Duty, I think Death Stranding is this year. It's probably not, but I think they said this year. There's a lot of cool stuff, so we'll get back into that. No idea how we ended up here, but there we go. I've addressed it. I put it to bed. Thank you for everyone who made that so much fun. Uh, shout out to Brian Alvarez and Dave Meltzer and the Wrestling Observer. You know, I know some people go crazy about them. I enjoy the content they put out there. I see it as entertainment, and they entertain me. What else do I need? Uh, remember to like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel. It's always awesome to watch those subscribers go up. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to join in this madness. It's at Simonler316. Would have taken that 316 away if I'd known the future, but you never do. You can support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Simon316. And I've got merch, simonmiller.bigcartel.com. All the links are in the description below. And yeah, we'll be back soon. Keep kicking ass.